So in this video, we'll get introduced to verb patterns, but in verb conjugation, when we're looking at the pattern, we're looking at the past and the present, but uh, many students, they come with questions about how do we conjugate the verbs or do the verbs change uh, the conjugation from the past to present or do the patterns affect it? The, the the pattern or the conjugation if i should say there are different questions many learners ask when it comes to verb conjugation but what i always advise my students to do is basically to remember the present and then the past prefixes and suffixes so the present you're always referring to and i would say start with the singular so we're only going to do the singular referring to i you masculine you feminine and then he and she familiarize or get more comfortable with the singular forms then you can um, skip or jump or move on to the dual and then the plural there are three different uh, conjugations but the first one is the singular. When you're saying I, you're using the elif at the beginning of the verb. So we're talking about the present. Where you, when you're using you, you're using ta at the beginning. When you're using or talking to a female, you're using ta and then in he yeah and she ta. so this goes for all the verbs when you want to conjugate them the past the conjugation takes place at the end so if i'm saying adurus i would say darastu i'll put two at the end anta darasta anti darasti huwa yadrus it stays as it is heya or huwa darasa, sorry, hiya daraset. So darasti and then daraset. You can see there is only t t t at the end in the past form. But in the present, you're using prefixes, alif, and then you have t, t, ya, and t. This, this initial or this prefix. It's usually connected, especially when we're talking about t and y. They're connected, but here they can happen isolated or be connected as well. So I'll take just a random uh, verb from the forms here. So let's do this one. So let's say I'm going to say fa'ala, fa'ala, fa'ala. What I say here is ufailu. I change the sound. So u failu. So here I am conjugating the pattern only. Because I could say the verb udarisu. I teach. Udarisu. So ufailu udarisu. It rhymes. So I'll stick to conjugating the 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 pattern and then as we learned in the previous videos you just match the pattern to the verb that way you can uh, memorize the pattern conjugation so looking at this ufailu referring to i do an action to someone like i teach someone or i make someone do an action to failu to failu so we're saying to failu to failina and then you failu we're keeping the same stress and then we have to failu so to you, two, two, and o. Oh. When you are saying the exact same pattern, and we're talking about pattern two, you're saying I 
taught someone, and I'm just referring to the verb darrasa, taught, darrasa. So I would say darrasa to I taught. Anta darrasta. Anti darra. Hoa da ra sa. Hea da ra set. So here, as I am writing the verb here, the pattern would just agree with it. Faaltu. So here I conjugated the pattern of the same verb and here I conjugated the verb itself. So if you want to put it in the present, you can always put it in the present. Just get rid of the pattern and place the verb in there. So fa'altu and then fa'alta fa'alti and then fa'ala And then فعلت. As you get introduced to all the other patterns, you would write the exact same initials right here in the present tense. And then you would put the, so here we refer to them as prefixes. And here you will put the, the suffixes. But the pronunciation of each verb would be different. So, ufailu, tufailu, tufailin, you failu, and you go on. Tafa'ala, and you're saying tafa'ala like uh, taqabala, you could say ataqabalu, atafa'alu, ata, ata, tu, tataqabalu, tataqabalina. يتقابلوا. So you have different pronunciations for different verb conjugation in the first person, second, and then third, masculine and feminine. So I hope this helps you identify how you can conjugate uh, each form or each verb pattern in the past and the present. First in the singular, that way you can identify the prefixes and suffixes and get very familiar. As we learned in previous videos, it's very important to stick to one pattern at a time. So collect all the verbs that share the exact same pattern, conjugate all the verbs together, and then uh, form sentences. So thank you for watching and I hope this helped.